2001 was one of the most challenging years in my professional surfing career. I had to compete at a wave that I really did not enjoy competing at, Chopu, Tahiti. It's death defying and it's scary. I'd had a pretty ordinary track record out there over the previous four years of competing there. I'd landed on the reef, i have covered in scars. It's not a wave that I enjoy riding. So therefore the language that I paddled out with every year supported that fear-based belief. The victim mentality of why do we have to surf here? This is scary, I don't enjoy this wave. The girls don't perform well out here. We're wasting our time. That kept me stuck. It prevented me from being able to generate better results. And ultimately, I was there to win, not there to lose. So I had to change the language. Another thing I had to focus on to shift the dynamic of my performance was focusing on my strengths instead of my weakness. If I'm stuck in this victimized mentality of this, why is this happening to me, then I'm constantly focusing on my inadequacies or my inefficiencies to perform. And that also helped me stay stuck. One of my strengths, is my ability to listen and my ability to learn and therefore apply those learnings to my life. Now, I wasn't performing well out there, so I had to look to and seek counsel from guys who do perform well out there. So I asked the guys, where do I sit? Where do you suggest I paddle? And they suggested that I paddle three feet deeper than what I feel comfortable doing. Now, if I kept doing what I was comfortable doing, I would keep producing the results that I was uncomfortable producing. So I had to change and that change started with me. So I changed the dialogue. I detached from being a victim of why is this happening to me to then becoming a victor of my own mentality, which is why is this happening for me? And then I focused on my strengths. Now, just by doing those two things, I was able to sit deeper, back myself, and win an event that has never been expected of me to win. But I was able to break free of that just by changing the language, focusing on my strengths, and asking for help. So this you can apply to your life if you want to build resilience too. If you're in a boardroom and you're afraid to speak, get out of your own way and back yourself. If you're in an environment or an opportunity of growth, step in and embrace the experience because resilience is simply having the ability to bounce back from setbacks and obstacles without being defined by them.